Hello. Our devotion for today is titled, Mary and Martha. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. But one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Well, we hear so often that salvation is by grace, that we are given eternal life, although we don't deserve it, and it's not through our doing. In fact, we hear it so often that we are tempted to believe that all that we have to do is sit with our arms crossed, occupied with the things of the world, until someday, in some mysterious way, we experience some kind of revelation that makes us believers. That's not how it usually happens. There is something that we could do and should do for our salvation. This is shown in the story of Mary and Martha. Like so many other stories in the New Testament, one thing and one thing alone is most important, Jesus said to Martha. Mary understood this. She had chosen a good thing that couldn't be taken away from her. That good thing was described very clearly. She sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. Verse 39. What we can and should do is receive the word. God's word is the means of grace. The word creates something in our hearts, the guilt for our sins and belief in the Savior. It creates a living faith that works through love. The Christian life is completely dependent upon this. One, the word can't be received just once and for all. It isn't merely a matter of knowledge and opinion. It's a creative power that perpetually renews our life. We need it as much as we need our daily bread. We have to use God's word. That means we should hear it, read it, remember it, and apply it. We do not earn points with God by using his word. Instead, by using it, our hearts and lives are opened to the grace of God that can never be earned. It's the way we receive God's gifts. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this gift. Help us read your word in the right way, as if it were a letter to us from you. Help us read it as a greeting that you have given to us. Help us hear you speaking personally to each one of us. Help us realize that you've written it for our sake. We know, of course, that you have sent your word out to all people. Yet help us hear that you are speaking. Make your word come to life for us. You have sent your word to accomplish your work. Let it work within us now. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.